my name is Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Persepolis 1 and Persepolis 2. These are now available as a bind up. You can find it as the complete Persepolis but I picked them up as two separate books. Persepolis is a memoir style graphic novel that follows Marjane Satrapi as she grows up in Iran. It has a lot of really great historical information in terms of the history of the regime's changes in Iran and the different wars and battles that happen in that country. And then Persepolis 2 kind of just continues on with the story of her life and just growing up during this time period in various places. Now I read the first Persepolis when it came out when I was in college. So I read that one and then I didn't read Persepolis 2 because it wasn't out yet and then I just never got around to reading it until recently. So the first one was a reread and the second one was completely new to me. But I really really love this first volume. I think it has a lot of really great historical information on it but also just following the everyday lives of the people that live in this country. There isn't a lot of information like that out there in the western world at least. So it's really interesting just seeing the things that they had to deal with and just seeing how quickly things can change. I think this helps break a lot of stereotypes in terms of what people think of Iran and things like that. So I really really enjoyed this book. Unfortunately I didn't like Persepolis 2 quite as much. In this one she grows up and when she's about a teenager she gets sent to a boarding school in Austria. So while she's in Austria it just really seemed to not be as interesting at least for me. I know this is a memoir and it's kind of weird to criticize this story of someone's life because it's not like they had control over the things that happened but I felt like the stories that were told in here were just kind of not as important. Like a lot of the things that she talks about has to deal with the boys that she dated and the friends that she had and just the choices that she made while she was in Austria and I didn't agree with like a significant portion of those choices so maybe that's why but I just felt like whenever she was out of Iran it was less interesting and she does return to Iran in this book and that's when I was back engaged with this book. I just find that the story with her family and with the other people in her country were a lot more interesting than her fish out of the water type stories that were happening when in Austria. Also Persepolis 1 seems to follow a slightly more chronological tale while Persepolis 2, while it is chronological, it feels like you aren't really seeing the full picture. I feel like there are a lot of gaps in time that she just skips over and so you feel like you're just jumping around in her life in Persepolis 2 and so I felt like I wasn't connecting quite as much with the stories that she was telling. But I think a lot of this also has to do with the fact that in this one she's just a child and she's observing things that are happening around her and she does have opinions and she does take a part in whatever way that she can but in this one she just seems like a moody teenager which is just not something that I enjoy reading about. The art stylings in this book are really just beautiful to see. It's all done in black and white so I feel like I really like when graphic novels are done in all black and white because then I feel like the artist conveys a lot with the little or the constraints that are put upon her. In the end though, even though I didn't like the second one quite as much as I liked the first one, I still really liked both of them and especially now you buy both of these in a bind up that's a lot cheaper than buying both of them separately. So I highly recommend this story. I think it's a really interesting point of view that a lot of people aren't exposed to. So definitely check these out. If you haven't read graphic novels before, I feel like this is a good entry point because this was actually my entry point into graphic novels. Persepolis was the first one that I ever read. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Persepolis. If you have read this graphic novel, feel free to leave your comments down below letting me know what you guys thought of it. Let me know if you read these separately or as a bind up and if that seemed to change your opinion. I wonder if I had read these as one giant bind up if I had thought of it differently, but who knows. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.